Now there are some angles that we use so commonly that it's handy to actually know what their conversions are so that when you spot them in a question, you actually recognise them without needing to multiply by pi over 180. Now, starting from the one that we know best, 360 degrees is 2 pi. That's something that we always keep in mind. And obviously 180 degrees is pi. Now, if you use this as a starting point, you'll notice that a lot of our other important angles actually are factors of 180. So if you've got, say, 90 degrees, that's going to be half of pi. If you have 60 degrees, that's going to be one third of pi, or pi over three. 45 degrees, well, 445 is 180, so this is pi on four, or a quarter of a pi. And six lots of 30 degrees is 180, so this one is pi on six. 270 degrees, well that's 90 plus 180, isn't it? So if you have one pi and you add it to half a pi, you have one and a half pi, or three pi on two. Now, you'll notice that it's more common for us to write three pi on two than to write one and a half pi. Why is that? Well, here, by writing it as an improper fraction, it comes across looking like one term. It's nice and simple. As soon as you put a mixed numeral out in front, it sort of just looks a little bit awkward. It's unclear whether we've got one multiplied by half a pi. There's, there's a chance for it to mess up. So we generally keep them as improper fractions. Now, what you'll find is that when you're using related angles, because of course, we know a bunch of angles that are related very closely to 30, don't we? If we have 30 degrees here, or pi on six, then that's also closely related to 150, right? Now, if, if this is pi all the way around to here, and we take one sixth of a pi off, we'll have five pi on six, or five sixths of a pi, if you want to think of it that way. Down here, if we have one pi plus a sixth of a pi, we have seven pi on six. And over here for what we would normally call 330 degrees, well, you can think of 2 pi in terms of your sixths here. Since 30 degrees is 1 sixth of a pi, you're going to have 12 sixths if you go all the way around. Okay, because thinking about it, 12 sixths is the same as 2. So if you take off 1 sixth of a pi, you'll only have 11 sixths pi. And we write it like that. So these related angles come up often. And for each of these angles, you'll need to be familiar, or at least able to work out quite quickly and easily, their related angles in all four quadrants.